You know, when I heard your wife died, I thought maybe I could come back. You'd be different. We could talk and maybe find a way to be a part of each other's lives. Why? I didn't see what happened that night. In all these years, I blame myself. It was my fault. I can't live with that anymore. And whatever you did or didn't do, I'm not gonna let that haunt me the rest of my life. Judge, Dad, I forgive you. Yeah, man. You look like you're doing all right to me. Would you give that a product or what? How many times I gotta tell you? I ain't doing that no more. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. You're clean now, right? Is that what it is? <laughs> Come on, man, I saw the guy palm you something. You're gonna have to get better. Look, man, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm getting my life back on track. And I'm helping other vets do the same. <laughs> what did this guy do to deserve this? Let's just say you two might have more in common than you might believe. And if I were you, I would not want to disappoint the boss. If he won't talk to you, what makes you think he's going to talk to me? I don't know. Well, you know, they say that kids that grow up with siblings have better coping skills. Maybe it's time we give Neil a little sister. No, no, I don't want to go through that again. Welcome to Channel 16, live at 7. Gunshots were heard just moments ago at the corner of Pine and Lodge. You know, it's always great to have a reporter like Tina. Always first and always smiling. Yes, she definitely is an amazing reporter. I quit! And I'm taking these with me! full of car thieves. You'll be lucky if you get her back here in one piece. I got 50 says she makes it back but the car's trashed. Well pony up boys. We got us a bet. Take it out of my pay. 